My name is Doreen Cooper. I'm an international learning facilitator and an author. Finding my passion in public speaking didn't come as naturally as some people might think that it did, well, at least for me. You see, what happened for me in terms of my journey in the field of public speaking is I started hosting events for my school about 20 years ago. I mean, it's not as straightforward as that if you know the history, but basically one thing did lead to another. And when I start, started my career in training and development, I realized that it was the best way that I knew how to help others which is something that I'm very passionate about. And I realized that at the end of the day, public speaking is really about having a dialogue with other people. It's about being able to listen to them. It's about being able to ask them good questions. And it's being able to craft messages which allow you to impact their lives. There are many common challenges that people experience when they engage in public speaking. The first common challenge that I come across is when people want to dispense too much information. You see, public speaking isn't about how much information you can tell people. It's about how you share the information that you know will benefit their lives or will address their concerns. The second challenge that I see people commonly struggle with in terms of public speaking is when they start to use visual aids like PowerPoint. You see, when you start engaging in a medium like PowerPoint, you need to know how to use it well. But unfortunately, a lot of people who use PowerPoint, they don't really have the skill to use it well. So it's either they talk to the presentation more than they talk to their audience and it became, becomes a hindrance between them or con connecting with their audience and reading the presentation or reading the PowerPoint. Or sometimes they bombard the slides with too much information. The third challenge that I find people commonly struggle with in terms of public speaking is that they make it too much about themselves. Because you see, at the end of the day, public speaking shouldn't be about you. It should be about your audience because your audience is there for a reason. And you have to really consider what is it that they expect to hear from you and what can you do or what can you say that can help enrich their lives. Some tips to help make you an even more effective public speaker are, I'll give you three. One is to make sure that you stick to your objectives. You see so often that people engage in public speaking without knowing what their objectives are, or when they start speaking, they completely forget about the objectives and they go in a separate or completely different direction. So always remember what your objectives are. What are you trying to achieve with your speech or your presentation or whatever it is that you are talking about? The second tip that I'd like to give you is to make sure that you don't make it about you. Because again, just like what I mentioned earlier on, it's so often or it's so common that people make presentations or public speaking about them. At the end of the day, as I mentioned earlier on, it's not really about you. It's about your audience. It's about why they're there and what can you say that can enrich their life. And last but not least is the time. You see so many speakers, they either go way under time because they're tongue tied or they go way over time because the moment they start speaking, they don't know how to stop. And that happens so commonly that I find that people really need to take a step back before they speak and think about what are the main points that I want to discuss and how should I start and how should I end. Again, take a step back and think about what are your key points because that will help you keep within the time that you have to speak to others. Mm -hmm.